Now, a group calling itself Advocate for Christ Ghana has mounted a strong case against government's compulsory vaccination at the airports to stem the spread of the virus, especially the new Omicron variants. Government has, government's announcement as a compulsory vaccination regime at the airport for both in and outbound passengers ahead of the Christmas festivities. Speaking at a news conference, Chairman for the group Edem Senanu argued that vaccinations across the country can continue, but it should not be made compulsory as it infringes on the fundamental human rights of the people. The growing concern about how the vaccines may be impacting the immune system of vaccinated, vaccinated persons should not be glossed over. On Saturday, the 11th of December, 2021, how many days ago is that? 11th December. Dr. Gili Rejef Uche, Director of Infectious Diseases Epidemiology at Sheba Medical Center in Israel, expressed her worry about the fact that even persons who had received two shots of Pfizer vaccine did not have any immunity against the Omicron variant. She also added that such persons might also be exposed to serious disease if their immune system continued to be affected this way. As a country, we need to be very concerned about these situations which are happening globally and be very cautious about how we proceed. It is in this context that we therefore call on the President, His Excellency, Nanadu Dankwa Akufuado, to support the rights of citizens by curtailing the drive to implement mandatory vaccinations. Vaccinations can continue, but they should not be made compulsory. And indeed, the data on countries that have gone ahead of us must be properly interrogated and analyzed. Let's interrogate and investigate what is happening in the countries that have done much more vaccinations. How well are they doing compared with Ghana? We should also invest in research. How come Ghana has done so well without vaccines? If you walk around now, you see many Ghanaians walking around comfortably with no issues. We are entering Christmas. And this variant, which is supposed to produce a mild headache, is about to create severe headaches for all of us.